Hi friends! Happy New Year's Eve! It's Audrey. I'm here today with a video using the beautiful new Noted Collection from Coco Daisy. Uh, so you can see here, this is the cover the cover card that comes, the po pocket card that comes. A um, little note, obviously. Um, so you can see the colors and the graphics really well in this card. Uh, it's got some beautiful uh, pastel colors, pinks and greens, and this beautiful little composition notebook. So today I thought because it's New Year's Eve and it's the end of a decade, I, it, that just blew my mind that a couple months ago I realized that this is the end of a decade. We're starting 2020. So I thought what I would do is a spread about the four most important events that happened to me during this decade. For it's perfect for a little New Year's Eve uh, fun. So I'm using the Coco Daisy Noted Kit. I always start with a sketch uh, of my layout when I'm, especially when I'm using bits and pieces from the kit that I only have one of. I want to make sure that it, the design is cohesive and it does well. So I decided for this decade to document these four events to do a uh, sort of replicate a quilt a 2D quilt on paper, sort of like an heirloom quilt or a memory quilt. Uh, so what I did was I divide, I took a 12 by 12, um, I'm going to do a 12 by 12 scrapbook paper, piece of scrapbook paper, and I divided it into nine four inch squares, and each square I'm going to make into a quilt. So I will take a picture of this and I will put this at the end of the video, the actual sketch. But I can show you uh, what I already did was I started this to see how it works. So this is going to be one of the squares of the quilt. During this decade I turned 40 and that was a huge milestone. So in order to make the photos match well, what I did was I moved them all to uh, black and white or I converted them all to black and white. And um, my idea is, so this is going to be the, a quilt square on the page. So my idea was to cut everything into um, one inches and use different pieces from the kits. Uh, so this is documenting my 40th birthday. I did a cake smash for my 40th birthday. It was so fun, but so hot. So I'm going to get started. I will let you know I do have a little bit of a cold right now, so my voice might be nasally. And also, I might be visited by my fur babies. Barley is my cat. She likes to photobomb me and, and jump up on the table when I'm doing videos. And Dennis is my dog. Sometimes he will bark. So I am going to get started. I did some of the prep work already here. And um, I'm going to get started and I'm going to speed up this video and get on the way. All right, let's go. Okay. So I started off, I did some prep work beforehand. I'm using 3M Scotch Rolling Adhesive. I contemplated using the glue that came in the kit, which is great, but I just like that Scotch 3M Adhesive. So there I am. Uh, so this project is made up of a 12 by 12 scrapbook page with four, nine 4 by 4 inch squares. The little squares in the middle are 1 inch each. So what I did was I looked to see what uh, patterns I liked that went together and uh, cut them into one inch squares. Uh, the picture is covered because it's a picture of my niece and nephew and my sister has asked that we don't share pictures of them on social media, which I respect. Uh, but that was a big milestone in this decade was I became an aunt. So here I am doing the picture of my wedding, which was another milestone in this decade. Uh, I got married to the love of my life. And so I wanted to use those flowers in the kit. So the paper in, I believe this came from the both the memory pocket keeping kit and the traveler's notebook kit uh, is double sided. So it's really, really easy to do that. So there I am doing that part of it. And the last part here uh, is the picture of my fur babies because I'm a fur mama. And what I did was I took apart that traveler's notebook. I'm not a big traveler's notebook fan. You can see me looking here for uh, the patterns to do, and I decided on the uh, cameras, which I really liked. So I cut those into one inch squares. I made sure that they fit into a one inch size. I cut them down into one inch squares, and 
in order to finish up here and speed along this video for you, I will stop and come back and finish the process. So see you in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to finish up the last quilt square of the pictures. This is of my fur babies here. Uh, so I'm going to go speed up this video so you can see the rest of my process. Okay, so now the photo quilt squares are finished and I'm going to move on to my journaling. So what I already did was I set a printable that comes with the kits if you're a subscriber, and I resized one of the uh, pieces of the printable to a two by one card. It's sort of that paint splatter uh, newspaper print, sort of, that's the theme of the kit. And to not make it too busy, I did one uh, four by four square of just plain patterned paper, and I put the journaling in the middle. Then I decided on how I wanted to embellish it. I wanted to not put too much on it, uh, but just a little bit. So I was playing around with that orange washi. You saw my cat, Barley, came in there. Um, and I ultimately decided on using this washi that has some really awesome sentiments on it that are perfect to go with this kit or with this project. So this, I chose this memory and this love for this part. And then I also wanted to put another piece of washi on there. So I went through the stickers and I found a succulent. Uh, washi strip sticker and I stuck the journaling down. So I did pretty much the same thing with the next part of the journaling. So here's about my cake smash and the picture of my niece and nephew. So here I am um, putting down the, that washi sentiment phrase washi again. I chose this moment and this day and uh, I'm looking for another piece of washi sticker and I chose some of the paint splatter newspaper sort of print because that kind of goes with the whole theme. That 4x6 four or 4x4 four four card is a 4x6 card that I pared down to use. Uh, it's from the Pocket Keeping Memory Kit. So here I am um, embellishing with some stickers from the various kit, uh, the picture of my wedding. The other one that I embellished with different stickers is uh, the picture of my 40th birthday cake smash. They're the two pictures in this layout that are of me, so I just added some extra stickers in the kit to make it a little bit more interesting. I took out a piece of that uh, what, a composition notebook paper from the Traveler's Notebook Kit. I wanted to use it somehow in this layout. I will eventually use it, but I thought I was going to use it for the title page, which is going to be called This Decade, but I ended up using this pink piece of paper. Uh, this pink sort of like journal page for the title page. I felt that would be less less distraction. So now I'm going through my die cuts. I did carry over a die cut from the um, Nordic Woods kit that said goodbye 2019, which is the only piece of uh, that of the Nordic Woods kit that I used, but that's not part of the noted kit. And I'm going through the die cuts to figure out if there's another sentiment that says welcome 2020 or something to that nature. I keep all the die cuts in a little box that come with the kits because it just keeps it easier. So now I'm trying to figure out the last two squares, which is just going to be different sentiments. And I'm going through the die cuts. I'm going through the pocket cards, three by four cards. And you'll be able to see a little bit of what the different cards are here. But what I did was I separated the sentiments that I would want to use that fit with the kit versus the ones I didn't want to use and uh, to try and decide what I wanted to put in and what I didn't want to put in. There's so many beautiful cards in this kit. Uh, so there's here's the pile of uh, cards with sentiments or pictures on it that I would maybe want to consider using. I went through the stickers to try to figure out if there was a sticker I wanted to use. I went through the die cuts and different parts of the kit. Ultimately, I came back to the three by four cards uh, which have some some good sentiments. I did find some more uh, stickers from the classified planner kit that I decided that I wanted to add. Uh, I think one of them says I love you that I wanted to add to that part about my wedding. So I ultimately ended up on these two three by four cards before because every picture has a story to tell 
and your life is your story, write well and edit often. I thought those were perfect sentiments to go with this kit. And uh, so now I'm paring them down to put them in the in the four by four squares. So I'm, I'm thinking about what I want to do, how I want to embellish them. I'm going through uh, different pictures, measuring different things, just looking through all the parts of the kit, trying to figure out what I want to do. I don't usually have a plan of how I want to do something uh, or how the creative process is going to turn out until I sit down because that's what I like about it. That's the fun of it. So here I am looking through all the different pictures uh, or the different, what am I saying, pictures, different products. and. I ultimately decided on from the Traveler's Notebook kit the the picture of the cameras and I cut it down to a 4 by 4 page and ended up uh, putting that sentiment on top of it and then a piece of the sticker washi on it. So I tried the orange washi, I did I really like that orange washi, but it just didn't really work for me with this project. I tried the pen washi, didn't really like that on there. Ultimately went with one of those newspaper print washies and called that done. So the last part of this is um, working with this, the last sentiment. I'm gonna pare it down. Uh, this video is gonna speed up, so what's gonna happen is I'm going to turn it off and shut it off because I'm gonna end up sewing around the edges of these squares. Uh, so I wanted to get that in there before this shuts off. Uh, so I put a piece of that washi tape down. The traveler's notebook paper is thinner, so you kind of have to make it provide and commit to it more. And that's that last square. So there you go. All right, I'm back. This is the last uh, part of this video. So what I did was I went ahead and for each of the squares, I um, stitched around the edge for them. Uh, to, because remember, this is a quilt. So I wanted to show you this here. This is my test piece. So it's hard to see. I'm going to pull it up. I was debating doing, I, my initial thought was to do a thin line. Uh, but I ended up doing this zigzag line. I also put pink in there, so the bobbin is is white, but I did a pink thread. So I really like how it came out. So I have one more uh, square to finish up with the, the thread, and I'm going to speed up this video and show you how I finished this project. Happy New Year, everyone. Okay, so now I've sewed around all the squares, and I'm just putting tape on the back of them. Even though this is going to get glued down, I always like to put tape on the back to make sure the sewing part of it doesn't come out. Now I'll on the page and glue them down. So you can see that middle square is not where I'm going to have my title. It's not flat yet. Uh, I purposely did not fill it out because I wanted to wait until the very end in case the title went over the actual squares itself. So here I am gluing each square down. and finishing up this project and with this project I'm finishing up this decade so all right here we go okay so now I'm trying to decide if I want to use a purple or green letters I decided on the purple letters I wrote out the words this decade so I don't misspell anything and I put my Goodbye 2019, again, that is not part of the Noted Collection, it's from the Nordic Woods Collection. And I chose the sentiment, Here's to New Beginnings, which matches the size and shape of the Goodbye 2019. I put that on the bottom, and here I am putting the letters down. I wasn't sure how I wanted to put the letters down, so you'll see me adjust them. Um, but ultimately I decided that I liked that the way this turned out. Uh, the way the placement of the letters were, and I spelled everything correctly, but I, I will adjust them a little bit just to make them more even. Then you'll see me put the date down. I wrote the date in there. I didn't write it correctly. I did a different two, so I put a sticker down there and corrected my mistake. I signed it, and 
always sign your work because scrapbooking is a form of mixed media art. And I ended the project with a small little circle sticker.